Could they be the key? The power of the dead. If you could become one with it, you would be as Malveil is, and you could face him. But you must find a way, quickly. Every moment, thousands die, and Malveil's power grows beyond anything I have ever seen. Alright. Let's hope we're getting near the end here. Again. Thinking. I don't know, these dungeons are randomized, so I think it goes basically. I did basic. not think I would ever see you again. That voice. Could it really be my old master? Or is this some trick? This time we both saw her. Alright, uh, I think we gotta go this way. Just a thought. we spent exploring magic. I remember those days with fondness as well, but I have nothing left to teach you. Nevertheless, you will always be my friend. And you need not ask for my help. It is yours. Myself and the other captured spirits have much power, but not enough for us to break free. If you release us, we may aid you. All right. Cutscene. Nephilim. The Black Soul Stone journeys through the portal to Sanctuary. Even now it spreads death across your world. And so ends the eternal. Right then. Whoa, frame skip. We're doing that. Not liking it. Me. As much health as I can get. I don't like that jump attack they can do. That's already gonna piss me off. Okay, I think we can actually do this in all in one sitting. Kind of what I aim to do. I like recording in big, long episodes. The only problem is getting it up on YouTube. Let's see. Like you. We're watching now. I might actually have to end up cutting it up. No, I don't like that. I'm going to do uh, big support for the sake of here. Okay. Not big support. Seriously. I slew demons beyond count. I won battles and broke sieges, but it availed me nothing. I know that this war can have no victor, only an eternity of revenge, pride, and hatred. Tyrael does not understand this. He cannot see beyond the glory of battle. In time, however, the battle is not yet here. Monsters were once the most notorious and reviled criminals in Westwatch, drawn up from the deepest, darkest cells of the city's prisons. Each was worse than the last. Heartless murderers who had butchered countless men, women, and children. In death, Malthael birthed them in forms that matched their twisted, callous souls, creating perfect instruments of slaughter. The executioners have earned their name. Oh, I wish there was a button. Like there wasn't the 
Diablo 2. In this place, Malthiel uses his dark crucibles to collect the souls of demon prisoners slaughtered within the fortress. Once the crucibles are full, a scavenger appears and channels the souls to Malthiel. It is vital that the crucibles and the scavenger be oh, my bad. So I imagine. To you, champion, Malthael can no longer feed on the souls of demons to increase his power. Okay, so now what? Probably. Okay, I see how this is gonna go. Or. So, I'm gonna go check up here real quick. Okay, so there's loot.
probably go that one way, but I, I feel like I know how this is all kind of set up so far. I feel like there's a specific setup to this whole thing. Seems to have a similar fashion, like the other side did. I'm gonna follow this route.
my awareness grows. The very essence of things stands revealed to me. Is this what it means to be dead? You are not dead. You now occupy the same state that Maltheo does. That means I can hurt him. Badly. <laughs> you sound again as I remember you. Yes, you are ready. And you have the means to destroy Maltheo. But do not forget all that you have learned upon your journey. We need you. The world needs you. Okay. So far, my character, like, over the game, I really put it on for a lot. Like, I'm not liking how my character is sounding. If I could give him a voice, it definitely wouldn't be the sort of corruption that kind of runs through his voice. Because, you know, he's starting to fall on himself. And I'm starting to feel like he's becoming a bit more overpowered. Obviously.
within you. You have veiled yourself in death. I'm completely focused on what must be done. Do hey, not let the lure of death. I heard a sound and did not know what it was. I sought wisdom in the chalice, but there was none. The sounds called to me, and I knew them. Human souls. Imagine we gotta be getting a lot close.
Malthael destroyed it and consumed Diablo's soul. Then Malthael's death will have released Diablo. He is free. had done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a wizard who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist, or will he be our Doom. All right, you guys. Well, there you go. That was the uh, that was the uh, entire playthrough of Diablo Three: Reaper of Souls. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did watch me all the way through. I can't believe I recorded an episode this long. Oh, well. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be recording the some of the newer features. I'm not, obviously not in this episode. This was to finish the walkthrough, but I'll be doing more Diablo 3 random dungeon loot looting episodes randomly here and there. I might put them in a separate playlist all on their own. I mean, well, yeah, I will, because this is, this is strictly Reaper of Souls story DLC, so I'll make a different playlist for this one. But, uh, about, about the story there at the end, about, uh, my character possibly will be tempted to corruption. See, I noticed my character getting cockier, and I'm not sure if the, the developers intentionally put that in there to make you question your character's abilities. So, uh, I'm starting to wonder, and I'm not really sure, I'm not the best on the story here. I mean, I, I picked up Diablo with three. Like, Diablo 3 was the very first Diablo game I've ever played, so I'm not committed as you are if you're into Diablo as much. Like, if, you, if you're a hardcore follower of Diablo, you obviously 
exceed me in every single way. More like back then I couldn't comprehend the idea of Diablo because I was so young I didn't understand it. I heard about it, I really wanted to try it, but I couldn't understand it. I was too young. So I, I play it now. And I really like this story, but I'm starting to wonder. I remember reading up in the Diablo first one when uh, the guy first killed, the main character of the first Diablo game, first killed Diablo and became the Dark Wanderer. Now that Diablo's like essence is free, will that corrupt us, corrupt our body maybe, and become like a, another form of a Dark Wanderer? I don't know. Skepti I'm just me being skeptical. I don't know. Uh, these credits seem like they go on forever, so I'm going to hit the skip. I think I did. What did I just do? Oh great, I think my game just froze. Oh wait, no, no. Oh well here's the game modes you unlock. Play campaign or Oh you look at that. So there's my character. <laughs> I'm gonna find some better loot for him. Alright you guys. It really means a lot that you stuck with me this far. Um I'm happy to have said I had finished Outlast on my own and Reaper of Souls on my own. Thanks for watching. There will be plenty more content. I think for now I'm just going to do looting episodes until I can find a proper LP to do. I'll still do looting. And if you guys want to do looting with me, well, send me a message. I'll friend you. I also started a clan. It is called... Uh... Yeah, I, got, I got no friends. So, you know, open for friends. But the clan is called... What I call it? I don't think it was anything crazy. I think I called it... Torvis. T-O-R-V-A-S. Capital T. So if you want to find that, it's it's nothing serious. It's just meant to, like, go looting, adventuring together, getting the, <coughs> getting the best loot. So, you know, that's, that's there if you guys want it. And, uh... I'll let you guys uh, decide if you want to join me in this in looting. So, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.